All right, guys, haven't really done any videos in a while. Uh, most of you know I'm pretty upset with how the eye surgery went, and uh, until we get things sorted out over the next few months, I'll have to consult a few more doctors, see what can be done. Uh, I'm going to have to keep you guys updated in the meantime with the business stuff because uh, you know, I still have a lot of people that depend on me, and uh, I mean, you need to you need to keep the sales up to be able to pay my employees and everyone. So uh, we're going to show you guys uh, what's been going on the past month or two here. Uh, still dealing with a lot of the corporate shill gang stalking. Uh, maybe we'll name the people next week, but you know, just stealing money from me, placing orders, receiving perfectly good product, and then they file a chargeback and the bank and Shopify side with them. So, you know, these big institutions and, and companies that I'm like hosting my websites on and my payment providers, they're helping these gang stalkers steal money from me. So we've been dealing with that for a while. Federal lawsuit doesn't seem to be going anywhere, but we'll, we'll start naming these people and you guys can maybe file small claim suits against them. Uh, I guess the one thing you guys can do is on my Google reviews, if you haven't left a five-star review or a good review, please do so. And also, all of the one-star reviews, just report them as fraudulent. And if it asks you why, just say, like, corporate gang stalking, harassing small business. Because that's, that's what's genuinely happening. And these people are just trying to make up and lies and everything about my product in ridiculous ways just to slander my business. So we're still dealing with that. These people are still attacking my business, but uh, hey, maybe they'll get their karma when every every eye surgeon goes out of business after seeing what they did to me. So uh, we'll show you guys the foods first and then some equipment and, and other stuff we got going on. Almost forgot to mention the most important thing before showing you guys anything. We're doing our biggest giveaway ever this week in regards to product value. So every single order is going to get one free vanilla ice cream. Amish farmers finally listened to me and used my recipe. The flavor and texture and everything about this ice cream is what I've wanted it to be from square one. So every single order this week will get one free raw vanilla ice cream made with the highest quality organic ingredients. If you spend $150 on your order, you will also get two free grass-fed 80-20 ground beef. So that total value that's like ice cream's 10 plus 16 is uh, 26 and then if you spend $225 you'll also get a ribeye free with your order which makes the total giveaway value over $45 free with your order if you spend $225 so you'll get all of those things free one pint of vanilla ice cream two grass-fed ground beef and one ribeye steak if you spend $225 We'll probably do this giveaway just for this week because we have a limited amount of all these products, but then maybe next week we'll do an egg giveaway or something. But I did want to mention biggest giveaway we've ever done so far. I'm losing my mind. Who knows if I'm going to do this anymore. So we're just going to do some crazy giveaways. So here in the grocery store, we've been utilizing it for a lot more storage because I ordered so many coolers. But our latest product that you guys haven't seen yet is white tomatoes. So uh, they come off the vine green and they turn white after about a week. Uh, the ones in here we have kind of ripening and then we have some sauce and some other products ready that I'm gonna show you guys that are for sale on the foods website. Yeah, so the tomato sauce has been added to our variety of jarred products. Most of you guys know we've been selling organic jarred honey crisp apples for, I don't know, I guess the better part of a year now. Highest quality jarred apples. We have two different sizes on those, the 24 ounce, which is this and the smaller 16 ounce, which is a little cheaper. We also have organic jarred potatoes. These are great, just ready to eat potatoes. You don't have to cook them. Perfect for, for lunch or dinner. And this is the new tomato product. Oh, well, no, that's, that's the smaller apple jar, which my guys have for some reason placed on my palate of tomato juice. So we have a few different white tomato products. Now, it does turn a little yellow when you cook it and reduce it, so we have, we've reduced pretty much as many like flavonoids and negative inflammatory compounds that a regular red tomato will have. So I've been able to have this juice and sauce and use it for 
the the past month or so now in my meals which i've really been enjoying in my hummus in my pasta so this is the white tomato juice in the fridge uh, which i'll show you guys in a second we have a white tomato sauce which is a little yellower because it's been cooked down and we have the whole or well quartered whole tomatoes packed in their own juice so really really special unique product organically naturally grown tomatoes highest quality least inflammatory tomato sauce product that's ever been made and another reason i wanted to make this was because um like for restaurants you can make a white pizza but now have sauce on it which is pretty cool i gotta take one of these home i kind of like using the juice um but as i said we'll show you the sauce and the, the whole tomatoes right now had our amish buddies grow this okay so in the fridge here are all the tomatoes that are pretty much white um, on camera they look way more yellow in person they're kind of beige um, so we'll take these when they're pretty much white and then we'll process them this is the 32 ounce white tomatoes packed in their own juice and this is the 24 ounce tomato sauce so you see this is a little darker and a little thicker than the tomato juice um, we might try another variety of white tomato next year to see if we can remove all of the coloring but i've been eating this i haven't had any issues i feel great on it so i'm very happy that we have this very unique product available now what's also new in the fridge is our complete selection of sheep and goat dairy products so Oh, well, my guys are putting the wrong labels on stuff and they might actually drive me crazy. I don't know what they're doing here. But the point is we have sheep yogurt. This, I believe, is sheep cream. Yeah, that's sheep cream. And then there's sheep butter around here somewhere. And uh, sheep butter is over here in eight ounce containers. It looks like my guys are hiding the the rest of the goat dairy products over here which we have to stock up on we got some goat greek yogurt uh goat cream and goat butter so when we started with the dairy selection a year or two it was kind of limited now we basically have anything you could ever want cow sheep and goat dairy here's the cow dairy here actually that just came in yesterday we have all the fresh milk freshly made kefir buttermilk all different types of flavored kefir, blueberry, cherry, pineapple, it's all over the place. So whatever dairy products you guys want, we have them available. And with your continued support, hopefully eventually, we can be in a position where we can offer these products at an even more affordable price. Because I know, especially with some of like the sheep and goat dairy products, it does get very expensive. We have way too many eggs. So if you guys want to place an egg order, uh, definitely do so. We might have to do an egg giveaway at this rate. There's eggs over there, the eggs go all the way back. Way too many eggs, so I think we're gonna have to give some away, unfortunately. Uh, before we go in the freezer, I'll show you guys the new foods products. We finally made all of the collagen crisp bars. So we have maple pecan, banana walnut, chocolate hazelnut, and white chocolate macadamia nut. Uh, I will say my two favorite right now are the maple pecan and the banana walnut. The texture on those is excellent. Uh, the chocolate hazelnut and the white chocolate macadamia nut. I gotta adjust the recipe a little bit, but they're still pretty good. So these are our collagen protein bars. Like the granola bar doesn't have protein in it. The quinoa crisp is more of an energy bar. There's no protein in it. The best bars use whey protein as their protein source. And the pemmican uses meat as its protein source so we have all varieties of products depending on on what you're looking for on the frankiestrangefoods.com website everything's pretty much in stock you know we don't have a crazy wide selection just a few things i like to include in my personal diet and if you guys want to order just the animal fats like the beef tallow lamb tallow wagyu tallow bone marrow oil pork lard the seasoning salts all of those can be ordered on their own on the foods website now it's been like two months so there's no real way i'm going to be able to show you guys everything in the freezer i'm not going to remember it all but i guess the biggest thing is we got our new freezer unit up and running 
paid for by the insurance. There's one on that side too. Maybe we'll go outside in the back and show you guys the new unit. Most of the Iberical pork is in stock. Fresh ground Iberical pork, we made that this week. All the sausages are in stock. Running low on a few things, but for the most part, we have all of it. Still pretty stocked up on the sausages. This is the plain smoked collagen sausage. This is the raw blood sausage. We got some hot dogs over here. I guess we're actually almost out of the plain collagen sausage. Over here we have a lot of different types of ground beef as well as our pet food. This is the high fat grind. This might be like a 50-50, very, very fatty. This is the pet food that we have right now. We ran out of the regular pet food, so the only one we have has the eggs mixed in. This is what's left of the local ground beef product. And our new go-to ground beef is pretty much gonna be uh, fresh ground chuck. 80-20, freshly ground chuck. We made a lot of this for you guys this week. I tasted this, I tested it. The texture and the flavor is good. And I'm glad to be able, oh well no, this is the organ grind. But we have, uh, we have a lot of this grass fed ground chuck. So I tested the flavor, texture and everything. And I'm very happy with the quality of the product for $8 a pound. Uh, we also made a bunch of fresh organ grind today. Lowest price online for the organ grinds plenty of that over here this is the 80 20 that we're giving away for free so this is seven dollars and fifty cents a pound slightly lower price point uh, still grass-fed ground beef just you know not as nice of a texture as uh, the ground chuck which is a little more expensive we also have Wagyu ground beef I think this is ten or twelve dollars a pound I don't remember how much on the website over here we got plenty of the beef scrap and liverwurst Angus beef burgers here. These are really nice and convenient. Some Wagyu picanha, very affordable. This is just our whole chuck roast and then one pound chuck steaks. Yeah, there's a few of the other freezer unit on that side. We actually ran out of duck, but we just restocked some duck today. Uh, the only thing we kind of have a lot extra of is, is duck wings. And uh, chicken we have way too much of. This is all chicken, actually. Our chicken farmer stocked us up way too much. Uh, these are all whole chickens, chicken parts, chicken breasts, drumsticks, thighs, wings. So a lot of chicken, way too much chicken. And uh, over here is just all the ice cream. So we've stocked up on all the flavors, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and honey with the uh, new and fixed recipe. The only ice cream that we still have left over is the kefir ice cream. And we also have a uh, new sorbet flavor that, I mean, we made two months ago, but I haven't done a video in so long. It's, um, this is orange sorbet and honey crisp apple sorbet. And what I really like doing is actually mixing all the flavors together. Uh, I'll show that video right now if I remember to do it. So the honey in the lemon sorbet was settling to the bottom for some reason. And as I was in the process of just putting it into a bowl and mixing it up, I thought, why not mix it with the other flavors to, to see how it would taste? Also because the apple sorbet wasn't as sweet as I would like, and the texture wasn't as good on both the apple and the cotton candy as the lemon. And long story short, combining these three organic sorbets, lemon, honey crisp, and cotton candy grape, makes for a sorbet that is more delicious than any of the others individually. Um, you get the cotton candy grape flavor, which is very nostalgic and it's like, you know, it's almost artificial, but it's still a natural fruit from the cotton candy grapes. You get the acidity and that classic lemon uh, flavor, really bring in the acidity. And then the honey crisp apple, it's honestly not that prominent, but it's just kind of like a way to, to dilute it a little bit and, and mix everything up. So. We let these sit out at room temperature for maybe 10 minutes and we got them out of the container a lot easier. Now you could let this sit in the bowl for, I don't know, another five minutes, but 
since we left that out, these are already soft enough to work with. So I'm not giving you guys the best camera angle, but uh, what allows us to do this without the sorbet just melting into a puddle of water is the very special gelatin process that we use to make our sorbet. So I like to use a potato masher to just really mix everything together super quick and easy. I probably let this sit out a little too long, but it's, it's fine. And this is the, the easiest and quickest way to do this. It only takes up a few minutes of your time, including setup and cleanup. So, I mean, maybe in the future we'll be able to come up with a recipe where you won't have to do this to make it really, really delicious, but the, the flavor of this combined was so good, I just really wanted to show you guys. So now that we have our apple, lemon, and cotton candy grape sorbet all mixed, I'm just gonna put it back into the sorbet cups and then we can put this in the freezer. Now, if you eat this now as is, it's really tasty, different texture. You know, it's closer to room temperature. So it has a lot more flavor. Or if you put it in the freezer for a few hours overnight, it will solidify and then have the, have the more solid, harder texture. Uh, what I'll usually do is, you know, when I make it, I'll have one and then I'll just put the other two in the freezer. Although I can honestly eat probably two or three of these at once. And uh, yeah, with me, with my compromised liver function, it's, you know, always, almost always causes a candida overgrowth. So I'm trying to figure out if I can take more of the natural probiotic to offset that or, um, because taking too much masticum, you just end up killing the bacteria and you don't feel too good, which isn't ideal. Uh, so, yeah, so we got our three sorbets mixed up back in the container. Nice, quick, easy. All you need is a stainless steel bowl and a spoon, although a potato masher will speed things up substantially. That's it guys. We have all these sorbets as well as orange available on Frankie Strange Meat. Uh, I haven't tried mixing orange in here as well, but I'm sure, I'm sure it'd be delicious too. Um, so yeah, I don't know if we're gonna make these again, but uh, you know, we might just be, might just be done for the, for the summer, but we'll see how the demand is. And then we just have our, our 72 hour collagen broth over here. I gotta take some of this home with me. This is what's left of the, the smoked and cured beef bacon. Uh, we gotta actually make some more pastrami this week. We haven't had it in a while. Just some beef ribs, random stuff over here. Nothing too crazy on the lamb, nothing new. Yeah, so decent amount of new stuff, a lot of discounts, a lot of stuff to give away, very affordable prices on everything. Uh, if you guys wanna stay updated, just make sure to sign up for the newsletter on the website because uh, every weekend we do send out uh, what's the promotional giveaway this week as well as all of the new products and anything that we were out of that's popular that has been restocked uh, i guess we'll show you guys the uh we'll show you guys the new equipment that's out in the back and then i'll also show you guys some other equipment i purchased because we're gonna maybe start doing some sourdough bread and some baking yeah so we got the brand new condensing unit out here all this old crap maybe replace one more of them and then we'll be good uh, on the freezer as long as we're gonna be here this is what uh, eighty thousand dollars worth of commercial refrigeration work looks like these are the two sides that you guys saw inside ran to the evaporators whole new setup they said it was gonna take like a week but it really took them like three or four weeks but Everything's up and ready. All right, it's a little dark in here, but I think there's enough light to see everything. So over there is actually a, a pallet wrapper to wrap the pallet in plastic. Only cost me a few hundred dollars, which was a steal considering those are like $10,000 new. So we'll get that up and running and we'll be able to, to send out the pallets a bit easier instead of doing it by hand. But the auction comes with the downsides. This electric jack is broken. I have to just basically scrap it. I wanted to do sourdough bread, so we gotta increase our oven capacity. 
I bought this set of gas ovens used, but they're really old. They're not in great shape. So we might actually just flip these and resell them. Um, my guys did an amazing job of cleaning these. You should have seen what it looked like coming in here. Uh, so we got those, that set of gas ovens. This set of ovens is uh, electric. So I needed one double set of gas and one double set of electric because I didn't have enough to do, enough of a gas line to do one or the other. And my guys, again, did an excellent job of cleaning this one too. And I'm buying all this used equipment to try to save money, but the panels are missing and, you know, the door is broken. So I don't know if I'm just gonna have to fix this and then resell it to make my money back. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm broke. I'm trying to save money and, and do new business ventures and make sourdough bread. And by saving money, I end up with, you know, these two ovens that are missing panels and another set of old ovens that replacement grates cost more than the ovens themselves. So it looks like I'm actually gonna have to get another set of two double ovens in here. And I don't know, I'm losing my mind. We got one good buy though that I'll show you. So until those ovens are set up, which might be another two or three weeks, I can't do the bread thing, which I'm not happy about. So we might just have to get some, spend some more money and get some other ovens in here maybe charge my credit card. Now this was kind of a steal. This is, uh, I think it's French made shoot bread slicer. This thing's taller than me. I think the new retail price for this is $15,000. I got this for only $1,000. And what makes it a steal is I think it's brand new. This is the factory, the factory packaging. Like this thing's never been used. And it's cool, you put the, bre you put the loaves in here they gravity feed down. Then you have you get the sliced bread loaves down here and you put the sliced loaves up here and then put them in the bag and then we vacuum seal it. So, you know, this is, you know, if we're, we're gonna do like a few hundred loaves of sourdough a week for you guys, you kind of need a commercial bread slicer and this is, this is a really cool piece of equipment that we got a great deal on. We also got a, a new sink to replace the one in the meat room back there that's leaking. And there's a bunch of other equipment I gotta resell like this uh, this floor scrubber. I've always wanted one of these, but I didn't realize how big they were. This one's too big for our facility, and uh, figuring this thing out with my lack of mechanical knowledge is uh, not gonna happen. Over here on the non-meat business stuff, we've got all the bed canopies restocked and available on wifishielding.com. So we got, I mean, only one twin left, but we got some queen and king canopies and uh, a few bed sheets left over, as well as some of the hoods that are new. All of the organ supplement stuff, is over here and available for you guys. Vitamin K2, vitamin D3, multi-mineral, multivitamin. We got all of the, the beef glandular powders at the most affordable price online, literally less than half the price of what anyone else is selling them for and higher quality. Full spectrum milk virility, thyroid support, big brain, third eye, adrenal replenish, immune strength, and uh, we got the female fertility over here. All the naturals products in stock too. Remineralizing tooth powder, marrow cream. I'm not going to go too much into the uh, Oregon supplement stuff. You guys can check it out on the website. We do still have the uh, free collagen peptide promotion with every single order. Yeah, you guys can check out OregonSupplements.com if you want to see all the new products. The main thing to note is that it's now cold enough that you don't need to order the cold shipping with the probiotic. So if you guys have been waiting to get the probiotic, which is, uh, which is back there in the fridge, you can order it now without the cold weather shipping. Uh, the naturals, new products should be coming in maybe in a month, month and a half. Sunscreen, hair pomade, deodorant, new texture, some uh, pretty interesting and creative things, but not going to be for a little while longer. Yeah, over here in the fridge, we have the natural probiotic. Now, I forgot to show you guys when I came in earlier. Our farmer has been making beet kvass for us very very dark purple colored beverage we have limited amount of those but most of them are in the small uh, this is two cups pint pint size we sent over our glass bottle mineral water had the farmer make a traditional beet kvass using the high quality water and we have this for you guys it's great as a probiotic 
Beets are kind of high in oxalates, which is good for pre-workout, but not so great for your kidneys. So, you know, you can just try this out, see if you like it. This is for sale on the foods website. Yeah, so I guess quite a few new things for you guys. A lot of discounts, cool, interesting products. We're giving a bunch of stuff away. So uh, hopefully we get this equipment sorted out and we can do a, a few new things over the next several months and uh, I can uh, resell all this used equipment so I don't go completely broke. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get this stuff affordably so that I can do some new things down here and save some money. But, you know, when buying stuff at these auctions and getting equipment in used and doing that, it's always a nightmare. There's always stuff wrong with it. It's always like really crazy to get new parts. Oh, one thing I'll show you guys, another piece of equipment we got, that was a steal, considering the new price and that has been saving us. Like, you win some, you lose some, you know? This is an automatic deli slicer made by Bezerba. And the new price of this is like $30,000. It's crazy. I, I got it for like less than, uh, around a thousand I think I paid for it. But it's, I should probably turn it on just because of how cool this thing is. But you put the meat on here and it does everything itself. It slices it, it stacks it, and then you just take it out. You don't have to, you know, with the volume of roast beef and bacon and stuff we're doing, this is an amazing, 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 really cool, helpful machine. So. I'll probably save, you know, in just one month, my labor costs will pay for itself just having this machine. So on one hand, you can get some really cool stuff at the auctions for a great price. On the other hand, uh, sometimes it's really a headache. Yeah, so we're probably gonna end up getting in uh, a new set of ovens, two new sets of double ovens in, and maybe another saw in, and that should be all the equipment that we need for a while. Uh, so if you guys check out frank You'll see all of my interesting, creative, and unique businesses. Frankie Strange Meat, Frankie Strange Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's, uh, you know, by, by early next year, we can have the whole eye situation sorted out and, uh, and get back to normal. Otherwise, uh, my new career will be handing out flyers in front of these doctor's offices wearing a bulletproof vest.